Hi everyone, welcome to Judy's Books. Today's story is Lost by David McPhail, published by Little Brown and Company. So what is this story about? On his way to school, a small boy befriends a very large bear who is lost. Let's read and follow them on their adventure. I am walking down the street when I hear someone crying. It's a bear. He looks lost and afraid. The tall buildings scare him and he's never seen so many people. Don't worry, I tell him. The buildings won't hurt you and most of the people are friendly. How did you get here? I ask. I climbed in to have a nap, he explains, and when I woke up, I was lost. I'll help you. Tell me where you live. There are trees where I live, he tells me, so we find some trees. More trees, he says, and water. I take him to a place where there are more trees and water, too. No, he says. This is not it either. I have an idea. Follow me, I say. I take him to a tall building. We go inside, get on the elevator, and ride all the way to the top. From up here, we can see the whole city. Look, I say, now we could find your home. There it is, he says, pointing. Down we go, across three streets, and into the park. The park is not the bear's home, after all, but he likes it there. We go for a boat ride. We have lunch. And we go to the playground. We are having a good time. But it is getting late, and the bear is still lost. Let's try the library, I tell him. We could find out anything here. Inside the library, we look through lots of books. The bear sees a picture that looks like his home. We find the place on a map and hurry outside. A bus is leaving. We get on the bus and ride for a long time. Finally, we are there. This is where I live, says the bear. He gives me a hug and thanks me again for my help. Then he waves goodbye and disappears into the forest. The trees are so tall and there aren't any people. Wait, I call to the bear, come back. I think I'm lost, I tell him. Don't worry, he says. I will help you. Thank you for listening to the story Lost by David McPhail. The characters in this story teach us about the importance of a give and take friendship and about the good that comes from reaching out to someone in need. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, Judy's Books. Stay safe, healthy, and always be happy. I look forward to reading with you again soon.